What's going on guys? It's David Boy Janes here and you are watching Q&A with Lady K. So great to be sitting here and chatting with you today. Um, I know the CCMAs have kind of been like a whirlwind with so much going on. So many people from all over Canada are here. Mm -hmm. And you are actually the very first artist I've talked to at the CCMAs who is from my hometown, a little city called Toronto. Right. As you're repping it. I love Jason, it. This is my, I just got a sponsorship deal with a 416 company. Um, and it works great with my brand because that's where I'm from. And from the beginning of all this, I said I want to put Toronto on the map for country music. And um, so I'm really grateful that they're, uh, they're sponsoring me. So it's yeah, awesome. That's awesome. How are you enjoying your time here in Hamilton for the CCMAs? <clears throat> oh, man. Um, I walked into Radio Row yesterday morning at 8 o'clock. And there was a tall six-foot, maybe one or two man with his back to me in a big cowboy hat. And uh, he turned around, and I had never met Paul Brandt before. Ooh. And uh, and it was Paul Brandt. Yeah. And I thought, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. So that's how my morning started yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Um, the guy's a, a legend and someone I look up to big time. And so going to Radio Row, I was in a room with, you know, a lot of my idols and a yeah. lot of um, artists that are just like me coming up and a lot of them that have finally broken um, the scene and uh, it was truly inspiring. It was really, really cool. And um, country radio, Canadian country radio, has been really kind to me. So it was cool to do some interviews with them. And and uh, shout out to uh, now Country 104. Uh, they're the first station to play my single, and I got to finally meet them in person because they're based out of Winnipeg. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been awesome. Really cool. Now going back to Country 104.7, you actually released a brand new single exclusively exclusively to them yesterday. I did, I did. Um, when they first spun my first song, they were big supporters of Summertime Feeling, and uh, they said, okay, so here's the deal. We want to be the first station to always be able to play your new music. And I said, well, I'm not, I don't have a record deal right now, so as long as I'm allowed to uh, make those calls, uh, you guys will always be the first. And so we released uh, I Ain't Sticking Around. Um, to their station yesterday, and that song is going to be released to um, Canadian radio in about two weeks. So, How is it special to you? I came out of a three-year relationship about a year ago, just over a year ago, and um, I went through the sad phases like we all do, right. you know, we all get sad, right. and oh, I miss yeah. them, and, yeah. and then, and then you, you know, your skin gets a little thicker, and, and you, you start to realize, you know what, like, I'm not sticking around, I'm not doing this anymore, I'm, I'm out, you know, you get yeah. your... your your um, confidence back and and so I ain't sticking around it's just it's that uh, just move on you know let's get out of here let's just let's just move on to what's really important and um, the next maybe not the next single but one of the next singles is called letting you go and that's just the the moral behind that is you sometimes got to let something go to make room for what's important yeah What do you love most about being up on stage in an intimate setting and just sharing your music with everyone? One thing I love about country music, and, and to answer that question, is storytelling. Um, I'm also a writer. Um, I also do a lot of co-writing as well with people in Nashville and L.A. and Toronto. I get to sit in a room with people and, and talk about something in my life and then put that into song and share that with someone and then have someone come up to me and say, oh my God, I love this song. And it's like, they, it's funny, because I'm new on the block and, and a lot of this is, is new for me. And when a fan comes up to me and says, I love this song, I think I get more excited than they are. Do you have any <clears throat> special rituals or superstitions that you follow when you're writing? Um, yes. <laughs> I, I light incense. Okay. I love the smell of burning fire or like a like a campfire yeah like if campfire had a cologne Ooh, that's what you'd be wearing I right would, now i'd be wearing it right now <laughs> <laughs> i love the smell of um of the campfire you just need to go <laughs> camping more often it's true uh, i'm a sentimental guy so i like to like light my candles and i like to have the kind of dark and um have my incense going 
Um, drink some whiskey, maybe, Ooh. or tea. I love peppermint tea. That's my favorite. Tea's good, too. Um, but my biggest ritual, I think, I love water. Okay. I love being in the water. I love being around the water. I love hearing the water. Um, so I, I, confession, oh, my God. Um, I take sometimes two baths a day. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because it really calms me. And uh, I know that's not really country, but <laughs> what's country, right? Yeah. What's country to you? Um, and it just calms me. And it's, uh, I don't smoke. I, don't, I drink a little bit, um, but I don't smoke or you know, do any drugs or anything like that. Good. So, yeah, I don't. And it's not my thing. It's never been my thing. Um, but I love, okay, I won't tell you anymore. anymore. I like baths. That's it. I'm going to tell you where, yeah. And bath bombs sometimes. Whatever makes you country, right? Exactly. It's like what Luke Bryan said, whatever yes, makes you country. whatever makes you country. That's right. For sure. What is next for David? Um, we won the KX MDM song contest. Um, pretty cool. So myself uh, with Mackenzie Lee and um, Jesse Slack, I believe. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, they also were in the top three with me. They're phenomenal. Check them out on Spotify, YouTube, and all that fun stuff. And then um, it's back to the studio. For pre-production. That's very exciting. You're going to have to come back when the record 100%. comes out and all that is done and we can do another interview. This time we'll do it in Toronto though. Wherever, yeah, whatever, wherever you want. I'm, I love, I like driving. It's fun. You know, it's cool. This is great. Uh, the EP is out on SoundCloud right now um, before it hits um, Spotify and um, Google Play and all that stuff. So people can hear it if they want to hear their seven songs that we recorded down in Nashville in February. I actually listened to it. Did you? I did. Of the course whole, I did. EP? Yes, I did. Oh, I had wow. it playing. Oh. Um, and I loved it. I really did. Thank you. Your voice is amazing. Oh, wow. Your sound is awesome. It's just, it, I, I love them. I really Thank did. You. you have some great bangers Thank you. on that EP. Did you EP. have a favorite song? I did. Which one is it? I loved, I did love Ain't Sticking Around. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. That was my That's favorite. the new single? Yeah. So that's great. I feel like I'm being your personal cheerleader right now. And I appreciate it because you know what? I love what you do. And I know you recently just hit 2,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Well, thank you. So you know what? I'll tell you something. People don't realize, and maybe they do, but people don't realize how much work and effort goes into stuff like this. Yes. And doing these interviews and prepping for these interviews and setting up these interviews and editing all night long. And I mean, so... I say thank you to people like you that are setting up these types of opportunities because for us, if we don't have outlets like this, then nobody knows who we are and what we're trying to do. Well, thank you so much. You are so sweet, so generous. I really enjoy chatting with you. Me too. Thank and you. Um, I wish you all the best. I can't wait to see you again. We are now officially friends, I 100%. believe. 100%. We should be if yeah. we're not. Well, yeah, we are. Thank you oh. so much. You're a sweetheart. You are so lovely. I'd like to give a big shout out to the Hamilton Public Library for hosting this interview. Abracadabra, let me see more Lady K videos now. It worked. There's more magic right over there. Click it. Click it before it disappears.